So uh, the hurricane season in the Pacific Ocean has been very slow to start. It's just starting to ramp up out there. The Atlantic Ocean's like, where have you been? <laughs> it's been a very active record-setting year in more ways than one. Uh, Josephine and Kyle are fizzling out, but they were the earliest uh, J&K storms on record. We got a couple of systems out there in uh, basically the normal zone where tropical systems develop in the Atlantic. Two of them are watching. 20% chance of development over the next two days. So it's down the line, 50% chance generally of them developing uh, one in the Western Caribbean Sea later this week and another one that'll eventually make its way towards the lesser Antilles Islands of the Eastern Caribbean Sea later this week as well. So keep an eye on that. No current threat to the United States. Uh, for the United States weather, uh, it's literally and figuratively on fire. It basically, we got a widespread heat wave. Cities like Sacramento hit its likely all-time record August high yesterday. And also a lot of red flag warnings for wildfire concerns. Most wildfires are caused by people. Don't be one. We got four areas of severe storms we're watching out for today. Uh, one margin risk between Philly to D.C., one in uh, basically Corpus Christi to San Antonio. Phoenix has a margin risk in eastern areas of Oregon, a slight risk of severe weather. All four of those, possibility of damaging winds later this afternoon. But with those wildfire concerns today, windy, mainly dry, scattered dry thunderstorms dropping lightning and not much for rain will enhance those wildfire concerns. So be mindful about that. And also the heat. You know, yeah, we say things like drink water, <laughs> get air conditioning. That, that's uh, common sense, I suppose. But uh, the one thing I will stress, no kids or pets in the back seat of the car. Even for a minute, those cars get very hot, hotter than the atmosphere does very quickly. 103 in Salt Lake City, 115 in Phoenix. Speaking of records, uh, days above 110 march on for you. That should continue tomorrow as you get into your Tuesday and looking ahead, still looking warmer than average through the end of August.